Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here at Touch iPods, and yes, wearing a Santa hat, and I will be doing this for hopefully all my videos until Christmas uh, to encourage you guys to get in the holiday spirit. Uh, but instead of some corny stuff, I have a review to do for you guys of the aluminum metal case for the Apple iPad, uh, just in my iMac screen, um, brought to you guys by pdair.com. They are a really cool website. They have tons of accessories for tons of devices, and this is just one of them. I have three products for the iPad I'm going to be reviewing for them, and uh, this is the first of those three. Uh, I would like to thank PDR for sending these products out for review. They've always been supportive of my channel. Uh, and uh, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get straight on into this. Alright guys, so like I said, we're back now with the PDR aluminum metal case for the iPad. Uh, the one that we have here today is in silver. Uh, let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging. Very nice plastic uh, cardboard box, very nice packaging. Very prestigious packaging, very nice. And we're nicely wrapped as well. And as you guys can see right off the bat there, boom, that case jumps out at you guys. So let's go ahead and take this out of the nice packaging. All right. So as you guys can already tell, it's a metal case. Now, some of you may be turned off by this. Some of you might actually uh, be enjoying this right now. But, wow, this is love. This is playing with the white balance a lot. Well, anyway. Um, <laughs> this case right here, like I said, it's for the iPad. It is metal, which means you're going to get a lot of protection. You're going to get a nice, sleek, modern look. Uh, but you're also going to get a uh, out-of-the-box type of feel. Uh, you're going to get just something really different. And some of you may like that. Some of you may not like that. Uh, but we will have to see um, how that comes out at the end of this video. Uh, your opinions on the end of this video. So right off the bat here, let's go ahead and look at some aesthetics about this case. Let's go ahead and check out the case, uh, what it looks like at first. Uh, this is the front of the case right here. It gives you a little cutout or gives you a little indent where the home button is right down there. So it can kind of give you an idea which side is the front of the case. Um, the front here is this nice aluminum texture, very nice. Uh, if we go ahead and turn over to the side here, we see the hinge where it's going to open. And then we also have ports right here. Uh, those are going to be for your volume and your um, switch, the uh, whatever they change it to now, the uh, rotation switch or whatever. Uh, at the top on the back here, something really cool is they have this cut open because this is for the Wi-Fi iPad and the 3G one. Uh, so this is open like that so your 3G signals can go in and out if you have the 3G one. And a really cool thing right here on the back, as you guys can see, my finger's actually in there. Um, that's what she said. Uh, there's a little hole right here where uh, it will show your iPad logo. It lines up pretty good. I'll show you guys that. And on the side here, there's grips, so it's easy to open. And then when you stand it up, which I'll show you, it makes it easy as well. If we go ahead and open the case right here, you guys can see right off the bat, you have a lot of foam padding on the inside. This is all nicely uh, foamed up. Let's see if we can get this uh, autofocused here without too much light being messed up. But uh, it does look very nice. The foam does go pretty much to the edges. Uh, at least where your iPad will sit. Um, it also covers on the hinge. Some of you might be worried about the hinge scratching it. They didn't forget about that. They went down the hinge. That was very good. They paid attention to the detail. Uh, all the corners of the foam are cut very nicely. Usually uh, there's some corners missing. Something's up somewhere. Uh, but this one is actually very nice. They even went up on the sides. You guys can kind of see it. Yeah, you can see it up here on the top where it's silver and then where it's black up here on the top. That's where they went up onto the... Uh, onto the top where every iPad is touched. They covered all the area, so really good there. Uh, and that's basically it. I'll go ahead now and throw in the iPad. I don't want this video to be too long because I kind of want to do this one in 1080p. So what you're going to do is take your iPad and slide it in there one side, then the next. Right, so now once you get your iPad in there, you can, you'll tell when it's nice and secure in there. The bottom will be pretty level and the top will be out a little bit. Uh, you guys can tell that it's in there by that. Um, now there is a good part to this, knowing that it's in there pretty secure, but there's also something that I'm not so comfortable with. Let's go ahead and close up the case. Uh, you, just, you guys know you don't have to worry about the hinge scratching your iPod because the hinge does have the foam on it. Let's go ahead and snap the case closed. All you do is snap it right there, and it is a very tight fit. It does take some pressure actually to open it, open it up. It is pretty hard to open up, but that is a good thing that it's hard to open up. Um, so it snaps closed pretty good. Then you have those edges right there, which will protect it as well. Um, but something I'm not so not loving so much is you can you guys see where the light shines through there? There's actually a huge gap in between where uh, the iPad and the um, case actually are. Let's see if I can zoom in on this for you guys. Right up. Yeah, there we go. Autofocus. Right up here. You guys see that gap right there? 
That's the same thing up here. There's a big gap there uh, behind it. I'm assuming that's because uh, the, how the iPad is shaped, and they you have you can't really avoid that, or you can't really avoid that. Um, but on the bottom, it lines up much better. Uh, this grill and the and the uh, your 30 pin Apple dock connector is um, easily accessible, and it's uh, it's pretty level there. But the top is pretty thick. There's a lot of it coming out. That might be for uh, that might be so it doesn't block any of these signals. Uh, for your 3G iPad, if you have that, but um, I'm not so comfortable with that top piece up there. But other than that, other everything is open. Your speakers are wide open, easy to access. Everything at the top, you have your uh, on and off microphone and your um, headphone jack right there, very easily accessible. And what I really like here on the back is how the iPad logo, the Apple logo, sticks out right there. Let's see if we can get that right in the light. Yeah, that looks really cool. That's my favorite aspect about this case is that it sticks out right there. Now, you don't really have to worry about being scratched because it is kind of recessed in there. It is kind of recessed in there, so you don't really have to worry about it getting scratched or anything like that. Uh, it just looks very, very cool. It's an awesome way to show off your iPad. Volume, everything on the side, easy accessible as well. Uh, when your iPad is in here, uh, it's protected, like I said, because this is a metal case. Nothing's going to get to your iPad unless you drop it from who knows how high. But with those uh, pads, you can set it to an angle uh, just to watch a movie or something like that, which is very cool. Um, you can fold it all the way around to do some typing if you need to, uh, whatever you may happen to uh, have to do. Um, something really cool about this case that I bet you guys had no clue uh, is that it's made out of anodized aircraft grade aluminum. That means that this same aluminum is used in aircraft. That is crazy. To protect your air, it's basically an airplane, airplane protecting your iPad. Awesome. Uh, it's high tension, so it's going to really put up to uh, some hard hits. Uh, everything's easy accessible. It's very easy to install. Once you just snap it in there, you're good to go. Um, and that's that's basically it. The case is very lightweight. It doesn't add too much bulk to your iPad. It protects it. That's a, and that's all it gives it is uh, the protection. That's all the bulk it really adds to it. Uh, not much is added. It feels very sturdy when you're holding the case in your hand. Um, feels like you have actually something in your hand. It is a little bit slippery at times because it is metal. If your hands start to sweat a little bit, it uh, might slip, but you don't really have to worry about that too much because you have grips on the side here that can be used there if you if you just hold it the other way. Um, there's this is a really cool case. It's a very interesting case. It's a very out of the box case. It's one that doesn't look like many other ones and will definitely uh, draw attention. But there's one thing that will draw attention about this case. It's the price. This case is seventy nine dollars. This case is basically eighty dollars. Personally, my opinion, I think that's a crazy price. Personally, I wouldn't pay that price for this case. I think the case is a very nice case. It's very well built. There's minor flaws with it. Uh, but other than that, it's a very nice case. And it gets the job done. It looks great. And the Apple logo shine on the back looks great. Um, but personally, I don't think it's worth the price. I cannot justify buying it. When I can go out and get a Zugu case that justifies everything on my knees for $50. If I can go out and get a case like a Zugu for $50... And compared to a case that's eighty dollars and not going to have all uh, the things that the Zugu case can do, I don't know if I could justify paying seventy nine dollars for this case. If they lowered the price, it'd be fine. But seventy nine dollars, you guys know, I got to give you my honest opinion on those reviews. For seventy nine dollars, I would not purchase this case. It's a great case. If you have the money, go for it. Why not? If you really like it, go for it. Uh, but personally, no, I would not buy this case, guys, only because of the price. Um, but hopefully, if PDR does lower that in the future, that would be awesome because then it would definitely appeal to a lot more people out there. Um, but all around, this is a great case. It's going to protect you from a lot of drops. Uh, and if you're a person that drops your iPad a lot, you might want to pick up this case. Uh, so this video may not be in 1080p because it was a little bit longer than I expected, probably just 720. Uh, but hopefully I fixed the whole sound problem um, in this video. Uh, stay tuned for more giveaway videos, guys. And uh, I will catch you all later. Cool little two angle thing I did here. Hopefully you guys can see me in the iPad as uh, in the iPod as well. I tried to go in and uh, throw that other angle in there for you guys. You guys can uh, see me over there. I tried to throw that little aspect in there. Maybe that'll show up in the back of the video. But without further ado, guys, I will catch you. Oh, why do I keep saying that? Uh, I'll catch you guys in my next video. I'm out of whack here. The $79 price threw me off. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I will catch you all in the next video. Favorite, comment, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Oh, peace.